in this really short clip from Gaultier, this is absolute vintage. This is what he did so well when he was playing. This really attacking, low aggressive forehand stun ball. So there's a few little things I want to unpack here. And, and let's just start off where the ball ends up. Look at that. That's just phenomenal. Like really, really stuck. As soon as Farag needs to play that, it's on its second bounce. And not only on the second bounce, it's gluing to the side wall. So this area of the quarters is what Nick Matthew really started to call the fifth and sixth corner, where you've got your four traditional corners. But actually using that service box line, whether it's just a foot in front, a foot behind, somewhere around that line, making your opponent play the ball from that part of the court is really difficult. So if you can think about getting the ball into that part of the court every so often, especially when you've got a bit of a loose shot here, your body becomes an asset. Guilty is hitting that ball and you see Farag is having to slightly just hold his position and move around. And then he's having to just negotiate the swing and, and Gultier's body position to go and get that ball back. So a few of the technical things Gultier does so well. So first thing, goes on that open stance, but turns the body. Look how nice that turn is. So don't think that when you go in the open stance, or a lot of common falls when you go in the open stance, people open up their hips a bit too early. He gets those hips round, and I love that angle of the racket face. It's probably slightly more than I coach and subscribe to, but it's really hooded. I, I like a little bit more of a 45 degree angle, maybe a little bit more vertical, but he was very good at this hooded angle. So high elbow position, high wrist, but that racket head is nice and, and relatively flat at that moment. But then what he does is then, there he goes, he is opening up those hips. He's getting that forehand technique where the elbow and the racket but are leading so that the top of the racket is trailing, really having some torque around his hips and his chest area. And then as he hits, it's a little it's quite flat that. So even though he's coming down steep, he, he's, he's open there, but it's relatively flat there. And look how he rolls over the top with his racket here to shut that ball off, really rolls it nicely, gives himself a little bit of a margin. I can imagine that's, you know, an inch or so above the turn but it's where the angle and where it fades into and the pace he gets it there. That's where all the magic starts to happen. So again, if you can get this good setup and then really let yourself enjoy releasing, you know, using that forehand technique, elbow and racket butt going forward, open racket face at that point, maybe a little bit flatter at the contact, rolling the racket head. He keeps a really nice solid position, by the way, at this point, and he sends that ball into the court. That's impossible for even someone like Ali to get back.